Hi there and welcome back to my dream boat project. It's coming along. In the last video I worked on the strong back, got everything leveled and ready to put the bulkheads on. Still one more thing before I put them up. I need to get my bottom panels here for the boat and I need to stitch them together. And I need to stitch them together on a part where they're going to connect. So these are the two bottom, bottom panels. I have one on top of the other. They're the exact same size all sanded down and what I'm going to do is I need to drill holes along the edge of the panel going all the way about three-eighths of an inch in from the edge so what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a line from the back to the front like my nautical terms about the turn <laughs> and I am going to uh, draw a line three-eighths of an inch from the edge and then what I'm going to do is drill a hole every four inches going along and then I am going to put one of these things, aha, zip ties. I'm going to put a zip tie and I'm going to put it loosely all the way along. So that way when I get the bulkheads up, I can put this on top of the bulkheads. And since it's loose, I'll be able to adjust it to as tight as I need. So before I get started, like I said, I need to make a 3 8 inch uh, line going the whole way. And I'm trying to figure out how can I do that? So I got my little protractor out and my compass and all this and it looked a little difficult because they're the same end I'm on the, uh, they're the same length on the edge so I made my uh, homemade little jig on how to make a line and here's what I did I took three pencils okay uh, two of them are just they haven't been sharpened yet so this one and this one haven't been sharpened yet and what I did is I left this one long and there's the sharp one that has the point and what I'm going to do let me go ahead and point this down over here. Hopefully you can see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it right along the edge. Let me get a little further down. Here we go. I'm going to take this one, put it along the edge. And that is exactly 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to go like that. Can you see the beautiful line it did? Let me get you down here just in case you can't see it. Let's see, it's hard to do this with a tripod. You see the line it did? I'll try to get a little closer here so you can see better what I'm doing. See? Look at that, huh? And I'm going to do that all along the edge. So, little jig. I took, I put a piece of wood in here just so, as you can see, the same width just so it'll, they'll stay nice and flat. And I put a little duct tape along there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So then I can go ahead and start drilling my holes. So I'm starting right over here on the very end and here we go. Weren't that slick. <laughs> so now I'm just going to measure every four inches or so and drill a hole right on that line going to start down on that end over there you don't need to make a hole that's too big it just needs to be big enough for the zip tie to go in so
just about there. Only got a few more left to do. Whoa! Alright, so I finished doing all my holes. I had to go up around the front and do the ones around the curve. And now I'm going to go ahead and stitch them with the zip ties. I already did a few of them on this end here because it's hard to see that on the camera. Very simple to do, okay, and you want to leave them loose. So what I've been doing is just pushing it through the hole, bring it all the way down, putting it through here, and hold on, and see I'll leave two fingers in here because what I do is when I pull it, I just go around these two so I'm going to have a uniform hole going all the way around. Uh, looseness because I don't want to have some too too loose and not loose enough and so this way I know they're all going to be the exact same to hang onto that and pull it right up to these two fingers and there we go. Pretty simple process. Don't go too tight because what's going to happen is if you go too tight doing it, whoops, hold on that one was upside down. Here's what happens if you go too tight doing it. You go doing it and you go. Help! I'm stuck to my boat. I'm stuck. Does anybody know the number to 911? Help! <laughs> I can't. Really, don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, be careful, okay? Police actually use these to people, you know, the longer ones, that you can't get out of them. So, uh, leave it loose enough so your fingers can get out. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> what did I just say? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. It takes a lot of patience to build a boat on finding out, but you know, rather than just rushing through it, if you take your time and enjoy it, it can be some kind of therapeutic. What I like to do is, uh, when I'm not using the video, you know, watching, uh, taping it, when I'm just doing it by myself and doing the sanding and everything, I like to sit down, I have my CD player, and I just play music, enjoy myself. It's quite relaxing. Because my regular day job, I'm on the computer, I'm doing live videos, uh, Zoom videos, I do training, and that's like a, you know, day in, day up from when I get up to when I go to bed. I'm either doing live videos, I'm, uh, you know, working on different programs, I'm writing books, uh, so I'm doing so many things that you got to get away from the computer. And I find this kind of thing, even though it might seem monotonous, I find it very relaxing. You know, it's kind of, uh, I guess you could say, my meditation. There's been times where I've come up with great ideas from my regular job. Oh, I should do this, I should do that, just from doing these kind of things. Uh, so it's good to have a notepad handy so you can take notes of some of your thoughts. Uh, and if you don't have notes, hey, you got pencils and you got plenty of writing surface. <laughs> Remember to erase it or beauty of sandpaper. Okay, you can erase all your notes with sandpaper. Okay, did I not go? There we go. You're sanding your thoughts away. been beautiful lately. The sun's come out for the last three or four days. 
Today it's a little overcast. Yesterday I was actually in shorts. It was great to be in shorts. Today I had to put the sweats on again and the warm coat. A warm, I get the heater going on right here so it's uh, warm enough to be in here. What is it? It is, I can't see that far, but it looks like it's about 40 degrees right now, which is kind of nice still. But hey, spring is here. Um, I already planted some tomatoes yesterday upstairs. So getting ready for the garden. Looking forward to that. I do a, a big gardening site. If you guys are interested in learning about my gardening, I have a YouTube site which is Why Am I Green? One word, Why Am I Green? Where I show how to do different planting systems, where I show you the kind of things that I do on my deck and in the back 40. <laughs> My other hobby, I like working with boats, and I like planting. So you got to do something to keep you away from the computer. Boat building is an awesome hobby, and not only is it a hobby, you get to play with your toys afterwards. <laughs> I don't like being so far away from you, so... I'm going to come bring it so you can hear me talking and see the progress. Okay. Whoa. So you can see what I've been doing here. Quite a few of them, huh? A lot of zip ties. And by the way, I just got these zip ties. I got a whole bunch of them. I believe this group came from Hopper Freight, but you'll find them at Walmart. You'll find them anywhere. And, uh, the ones I'm using, it says 100 piece white cable ties, uh, these are 3, three millimeter, so 0.12 I guess inches, so 3 millimeter diameter uh, or width of them, and the ones I'm using, these are 70 it says maximum up, so I don't know what that's talking about. <laughs> I'm not sure what this stuff means, but here, if you want to see what I have, I'll bring that right there. Hopefully you can see that without too much glare. There we go. A lot of times people say, what are you using? That's what I'm using right there for cable ties. <laughs> the print is really tiny. <laughs> okay. Well, it moves right along when you get going. Then after this is done, I got to go back and look at, I have a list of all the things to do, but I believe the next thing is going to be putting my bulkheads up on the strong back. And let me tell you, I'm really excited about doing that because I'm going to be able to start seeing the shape of the boat go up. So far, all I've seen is a bunch of cables lying there and there, and it's like puzzle pieces everywhere, and it's like, will it ever go up? <laughs> I mean, I would love to have it for the summer. I'm anxious to go fishing and go out and get out and play with it, but I think it's going to take most of the summer to do it, and I'm going to enjoy myself this summer because last year, last spring, I built uh, a 15-foot canoe, the Eureka canoe, it's actually a plywood, uh, cross-rigging, sailing canoe, and I still haven't gotten a motor for it, but I want to hopefully pretty soon find a motor, and I'd like to take that out this summer to do a lot of fishing and exploring places, and if it'll handle it, I got it because I wanted, I built it because I wanted to go in the ocean with it, so a little nervous about that, because, I mean, it's a great canoe, I'm sure it can handle it, but I'm kind of like a heavy duty size person and I don't want to be taking the canoe out there and having waves go right over it and spend my whole day just bailing out the canoe. The nice thing about with the cross rig, I'll be able to, the uh, pontoon part of the cross rigs there, I have them filled with fiberglass, uh, excuse me, filled with uh, buoyancy foam and I have the front and the rear of it filled with buoyancy foam so it should be virtually unsinkable. But you know, 
everyone says that, but I really don't want to take you know, take it to the test. <laughs> I don't want to test it to find out. You know, just take their word for it, but no capsizing. So I'm anxious to start taking that out. So last year I made it and I only took it out probably ooh, sponsor, uh, three times the whole year. So because I got right into building this project. And it's like it's nice to build, but it's nice to enjoy it too. Matter of fact, I was talking to the kids about that recently. I have six children. Um, most of them, four of them are college grads, two of them have kids. Five of them, four of them are married. <laughs> I had to keep track. But uh, especially the ones that went to college, I keep on telling them, you know, is is the trip worth it? You know, I mean, it's great to say I'm going to spend six years or four years getting a degree, and if you're going to enjoy that, if that's something you want to do, you need to enjoy the journey, because what's the use in taking a degree for four years or six years if you hate every minute of it. You know, you need to enjoy life. That's kind of why I'm doing this. Luke asked me the other day, why don't you just buy a boat? And it says, buying a boat just isn't going to be as enjoyable. This one here, I made it myself. There's a sense of pride. There's a relaxation benefit, the health benefit, getting me away from the computer. You know, so is it worth the trip? So ask yourself that whenever you make have a project. I know it sounds like I'm giving advice, you know, but like I said, I have a day job, and that's the kind of thing I do in my day job is I'm constantly, uh, it's in the self-help field. So I'm constantly helping people, giving people advice, teaching them how to better themselves and their family. So there we go. The last twist I let me come right over here. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun, not just doing the twist eyes by going wee all the way over here. <laughs> so that's what I did today is putting all these twist eyes on here. And uh, next is to take this and put it against the wall. It seems like one, you know, play those little games, it's like the little squares and you got to move them around. You only have one empty square to move everything around in. That's what it's like working in this garage, okay? So now I got to kind of push this back over there and then take the bulkheads and put them up and then take the stringers down there and bring them up here so it's kind of like I'm like this in the garage constantly. Uh, before I leveled off the strong back I was able to just push that out in the driveway I had a lot of room but now that I leveled that you really can't push it out in the driveway because there's a gap and it's gonna stop moving and crack and yeah you know so I kind of have to keep that in there. Now my garage is only 11 feet wide <laughs> and when I get this the uh, bulkheads on here and the whole width of the boat. I'm only going to have about yay much space on both sides. So it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to work on this. But my hopes are I'm going to be able to get it up. Warm weather's coming. I'm going to be able to get uh, at least two sheets of uh, two layers of fiberglass on the outside and make it nice and strong. And once the bottom is fiberglass, then I'm going to move it outside and flip it over and hopefully do a lot of work on it outdoors while I have some room. But I want to make very sure that the body uh, of the boat is hard enough and secure enough and level before I start moving it. Then I can flip it over and work on it knowing that it's in the sound shape it should be. So that's what I have for you today. Hey, I want to thank you guys for, for watching. Like I said, not only do I enjoy building the boat, not only do I relax, but it's kind of neat to be able to videotape my progress, not only for myself later on, but it's almost like... I have somebody down here I can speak to. <laughs> I, I need to get an apprentice. You know, I, I need, maybe I need a dog to talk to. Well, anyways, it's great to have you folks to speak to. I know some of you are listening. Some of you are laughing. Some of you are learning. Hopefully, learn. Okay? But I appreciate having you there to listen to your, my imaginary friends. And uh, I hope it helps you in some way to learn by my mistakes as I do them because yeah I don't know I don't only videotape the good things I videotape some of the mistakes too so with that I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you in the next video happy sailing bye bye